God's eyes, no one on this planet is any better than you. Boom. Everyday wisdom. Dr. Wayne Dyer. Beast. Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, Dunsey. Rocking a beanie today. Beautiful day. Wow, look at that behind me. That's incredible. Go outside. I'll keep telling you, if you're sad, go outside. Get the air. And uh, anyway, we got to get a show. We got a show. We got a talk show. Welcome to Real Talk. It's your boy, Nunzi. And uh, today's a great topic. Today, today's topic hits home. It hits home. And it's going to be quick. And it's going to be suffice. And it's going to be a shot. It's going to be a pound. Whoa. Easy. Show them the city. There we go. So um, if you're new to Real Talk, welcome. Real Talk is a show that is... Uh, I just spit the real, man. We talk about like real topics, sensitive topics, um, potentially, you know, fitness related stuff, motivation, all this kind of stuff. Like we talk the real, right? Because we live in a sugar coated world, to be honest, you know, everybody gets a medal, everybody gets a pat on the back and that's, it's not what we need, man. Toughness makes us strong, but the right toughness, not mean toughness. Anyway, what do I want to talk about today? Do you guys like the beanie? I think the beanie's cute. It's nice. Um, what I want to talk to uh, talk about today is something that's so fucking relevant. And this is like so, it's important. This is important, okay? What's your name? I want you to say your name out loud. Michael Patrick Nunziata. Okay, cool. So you said your name out loud. In the whole point of your life, is to focus on you, right? It's to focus on your journey, your experience, your decisions, your beliefs, your opinions. That's what matters. Say your name again, Michael Patrick Nunziata, you, right? So why do we live in a world where we are focused on so many people's other experiences and journeys? Like it's bizarre. And I mean, I know like, and this is where people will live vicariously through other people, but this is what I'm saying, okay? Every human should have the right to believe in what they want to believe in, choose on who they want to marry, be who they want to be. Face tats, Botox, um, believe in this or believe in that, eat fast food, train in the gym, take steroids, you're born black, you're born Chinese, you're born white, like, like, but yet we are so like, oh, like casting judgment. If you do this, if I choose like, like, it, like it, it's just so, it's so wrong, right? Like think about this for one second. If you have a problem, and this is just a, a great example with gay marriage, okay? How the fuck does that affect your life? Like, how does two people getting married, you know, in a different city, affect your life? Right? Like, like if if, if these people or, or 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 ideologies or opinions, if they have no effect on your life. Yet you sit there and you're like, that's bad, man. You know, and, and you're so focused on other people's lives. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's that's unacceptable. That that that's silly, silly behavior. And I'm calling you out right now. If you're someone who is constantly having to like judge, oh, why do you have so many tattoos? What are you gonna do when you're 70? What the fuck? Dude, first of all present moment 70 dude like how, how does me getting a tattoo on my face i'm not going to but like whatever on my neck affect your life it doesn't so why are you making a, a negative like if you don't like dude is that if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all and if you're if you are someone who's constantly um having opinions on other people's like beliefs and choices i would just like Take a step back and look in the mirror and ask yourself, yo, are you focused? Remember at the start of this talk, I said to say your name. Are you focused on yourself? Like focus on yourself, dude. Like focus on your own fucking shit and your own journey. 
Now, obviously, in regards, if like, you know, and, and this is like, if it obviously has no effect. Like, if it's affecting your life, like if you're living with a roommate and it's like messy and stuff like that, or like it's a, it's impeding on something, like that's, that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm, I'm talking about the fact that we just live in like a society where it's like, we hate for no reason. Like there's literally no reason and no effect on your life. And that's unacceptable. And, and, and I just can't stand for that. And that's why we're talking about Real Talk today because it's so important. You have a very short amount of time. I say this in every Real Talk. Our greatest asset in life it's not money, it's not possessions, it's not friends, it's not family, it's not any of that. Honestly, man, it's, it's your time. It's time that's of the essence that you wanna spend with your family and friends. That's not what I meant, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, like time is what's of the essence. So if you're gonna spend all your time living through other people, worrying about what other people believe in religion-wise, like if you, if you believe in Buddhism or you believe in, in Christianity or you're a Muslim, like, Go. And yes, like I know, but these are ingrained years and years. Dude, <clears throat> evolution. What happened to that concept? You know, like, you know, why are we living fucking 5,000 years ago? Like, it's time to like evolve, right? Like, you know, and, and that's like with my even heart on the gun law thing, right? Like we don't fucking shoot muskets anymore. Yeah, everyone can own a musket. That that should be the rule. The rule it should be everybody gets a fucking musket where you put the shit in, crank it, you get one shot. But having like, you know, but anyways, what I'm getting at here, getting a little bit off topic, is that time is of the essence. And you should dedicate your life and your time onto focusing on you and what you stand for and believe in. Like people who do that, like people who are focused on themselves, <clears throat> focused on their purpose, probably don't spread a lot of hate unless they're like really self-centered or egotistic, but that stems from insecurities. And I get, I bet you they're judging. And I know humans, we like to gossip and talk, you know, talk shit. Like that's part of human nature, right? Like, you know, we like to gossip, but I think there's like, there's always fine lines with everything. You know, if you're a mother or a parent and your son or daughter are making decisions, you know, and it, like, that, that you're not a fan of, yeah, I mean, dude, like, but like to what, what line though, right? Like, cause you should be supportive of that. If, if you're, if your son wants to be an actor and you want to go to business school, you should support that. If your son wants to be, <laughs> you know, a uh, firefighter or, or, or uh, fucking dog whisperer, I don't know. Like you, you guys know what I'm saying here. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that at the end of the day, stop. And if this is you, just like focusing on so many other people and like, cause like, you know, this statement where your focus goes, the energy flows. So really, really try and harness your energy and focus on your own journey and your own process and stop deflecting your own insecurities onto other people and other people's beliefs or circumstances. Cause that's all that is, you know? So, cause you're beautiful, you know, you're a dope human, man. Even like we're all one, man. We are the universe. We are the universe. Such a good song. You know, and listen to that. Sirens behind me. Who knows what's going on? That's how precious life is, right? So anyway, you guys, I'm going to leave you with that thought of like we started this little conversation. The only person that matters in your life ultimately is you. And I'm not saying that is self-centered. I'm saying that you need to take care of yourself. You need to nurture yourself, your, your body, your health, your mind. And that's how ultimately everyone around you are going to treat with love and respect. Um, and to really just try and focus on yourself and, and not cast judgment on things that have zero, zero effect on you. Because if, if they don't affect you, then, then why are you hating? You know, that just doesn't really make sense to me. If they affect you, then yeah, you should definitely say something or, or, or be constructive and communicate and find a better way, you know, to, to, to resolve the issue or whatever, right? But anyway, yo, it's your boy, man, Z. Real Talk, Beanie Edition. Please, guys, subscribe to my channel. You know, it's, it's a dope channel. Real Talk's a lot of fun. I, I love spitting the real here. Always keep the minutes, 10 uh, Always keep the videos around 10 minutes because, you know, don't want to, we have attention spans that, that are short and then, you know, whatever. That's, that's just how it is. But we talk the real here on so many different topics. I like to uh, get videos out every single week to inspire you guys, to inform you guys, to 
create a little friction, man. Because why not, man? That's what we do. So subscribe. Nunzi's also got a lot of fun stuff going on with home workouts and my own comedy projects. So you guys definitely check out the channel and all that. Also, all my other social media profiles. We have great time. The Booty King. If you want some glutes, check out the IG and uh, the TikTok, man. Incredible, incredible platform. So sending you guys all the love, all the vibes. As always, I'm your boy Nunzi in the beautiful city of Vancouver. Say your name one more time. Michael Patrick Nunziata. I heard it. Perfect. So focus on that and focus on your journey and enjoy your own experience. And that's all that matters, baby. And if you're not excited, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there. Thank you.